What's up guys? It is Wednesday and you know what that means. It is time for another Waterfowl Wednesday and today we're going to be talking about decoys. But not just any decoys, the Dakota brand decoys. And Waterfowl Wednesday starts right now. guys welcome back and like I said today we're going to talk about the Dakota brand of decoys now what I've got in front of me is the Dakota extreme series of decoys I've got the green wing teal I've got the Dakota extreme mallards Dakota extreme widgeons Dakota extreme gadwall and the Dakota extreme pintails now what I like the most about these decoys is the 100% realism that they have they have one of the best paint jobs on the market, if not the best. But we'll start with the pintail. Look at the detail on this pintail. He has got great detail, great paint job. They're hard decoys, they're very hard plastic, but they're also flexible at the same time. And that's the big thing with me because they don't make a lot of noise. The, the, the keels are a little flexible, which is another big thing with me because in the past, I'm not going to, I'm not going to brand drop here, but I've had to, trouble in the past with other decoys breaking right along the keel where the keel is molded to the body and then you know your decoy starts leaking and you either got to try to fix it or throw it away so that's just a, a negative in my book but this pintail he has the the pivot head which is really a, I like that it's really nice it adds some some realism to the decoy because you can position all of the heads in different positions and, and makes it look more real he does not have a flocked head, which is okay, but his pin, his sprig, is flocked. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but the sprig, the sprig is flocked. And he's a very nice, very nice looking decoy. They even went so far as to put a little, you, we've all seen the pintails, they got a little mud stain on their, on their rear where their white feathers are. They even went so far as to even do that. I mean, it's just the little things that they paid attention to on the detail that, that really goes a long way with me anyway. Now, on to the gab wall. Now, the Dakota Extreme gab wall, once again, phenomenal decoy. They're big decoys. They're solid, but they're also, like I said, they're, they're flexible. You can see that. It, it's flexible. It's a soft, it's a hard plastic, but it's a soft plastic, so it doesn't make a lot of noise. We've all been there, been in the marsh, and you hear your buddy grabbing out his hard body flambos or green head gears or whatever that may be, and they all, you just hear them dragging them decoys in and out of the boat or kayak, whatever you may be hunting from. And you've heard that noise. Well, that just drives me insane. But these decoys are soft, flexible, great looking decoys. The paint scheme on them is, is second to none. I can't say enough about Dakotas. Now, the, the Dakota Extreme Gap Walls, they do not have the pivot heads. Um, it's not really a deal breaker, but I like it because it adds realism. But the, the Gap Walls do not have that as well as the widgeon we'll move on to them the widgeon i mean like i said I, I hate to keep preaching on the paint scheme but man these things are awesome they too are soft you can see that they're soft and flexible the keel is flexible so you don't have to worry about that hard plastic getting cold and brittle during the on a icy day or snowy day when the temperature is really cold and brutal and you don't have to worry about that breaking because it, it's flexible the widgeons also do not have the flex head. They're all in a fixed position, and they all come they all come in half dozens. With the exception of the the Cut Extreme Mallards, you can buy them in the one dozen option, or you can choose the half dozen. It's really up to you, you know. But man, these things I, I can't wait to get these on the water. I've changed my entire spread this year. I've gone all Dakota, and I, I can't wait. 
I can't wait to you to hunt over them. Now the, the Dakota Extreme Mallard, this is the flocked head mallard. Now the, the mallards are like the pintails. All of their heads are positionable. You can turn them any which way you want. This one just so happens to be the, I don't know, I, I guess I guess you would call that the preening type mallard. Maybe a sleeper, I'm not sure. I, I refer to it as the preening. You can turn that head. You can turn it where he's got his head turned this way or looking straight forward, kind of looking around a patch of grass or something. I don't know, but I keep it turned back like that in the printing position because, uh, you know, it's just something different. You don't see that a lot with your decoys, you know, and they too are soft. They're all they're all soft. The paint scheme is great. Durable paint, paint that lasts for a long time, can just about withstand anything you throw at it. And, you know, it's, it's, it's about realism when it comes to decoys with me. You know, decoys have, have changed over the years drastically. They've gone from just plastic looking ducks to they begin now they look like real live ducks out there. The only thing you're missing you're missing is the motion. And you know that's that's on you, whether it be a, a jerk cord or maybe a, a mojo brand rippler or shaper shaker style decoy. But that's the only thing they're missing because they have got the realism down pat. I've also got the Dakota Extreme Teal, these are the green wing teal, and they also do not have the you know positionable, turnable head, movable head, but that keel, once again, is flexible. It moves with very little ease, and that's, I'm telling you if, you, if you've ever had that issue before, you know what I'm talking about. But they too are flexible. They're hard plastic, but they're flexible. They don't make a lot of noise, and that, that's a really big thing with me. And, you know, now, I will say this, that the Dakota brand of decoys, they tend to be on your higher end decoys, they tend to be a lot more expensive than say some of your other brands. But it goes back to that old saying, like I said in my last video, if you didn't see it, I'll say it again. You pay for what you get. I mean, it's just, that's the bottom line. If you spend good money on a quality product, you get a quality product. and. You can't go wrong with any of the Dakota brand decoys. I actually have the Dakota Extreme Bluebills also. Um, they're not in the video obviously for table purposes. I'm kind of running short on room here. But but they too are like the widgets. They don't have the, the fixed head. I mean they don't have the positionable head. And they're also foam filled as well. Which a lot of your diver decoys are because a lot of diver ducks are low flyer birds. And, decoys get caught up in the crossfire and it's just you know collateral damage it happens but I encourage you to go to Dakota.com maybe go to MaxPrairieWings.com Rogers.com check out these decoys Rogers is always having sales on all their products especially during the off season pick you up a set of these decoys and give them a shot I promise you you won't regret it these things are phenomenal and they look so real and that's the biggest thing Realism gets results, and if you don't believe it, go get you some old crappy looking decoys and throw them out there, and you may kill a few ducks, but ducks have gotten smarter than that, because they're, they're, nowadays they're seeing decoys that look so real, they can pick out what's, what's terrible plastic looking decoys versus over. Man, I think those are real ducks. So pick them up, put them th in your decoy bag, in your trailer, and have them ready for next season. You will not regret it, I promise. These things are awesome you know like I said they are expensive line of decoys but unless you want to buy decoys every couple of years go ahead spend the money on a quality product that will last you for years to come and you will not regret it you'll be happy with the results you'll be happy with the durability and you're not gonna go wrong y'all promise you you will not regret it that's all I've got for you this week, guys. There's the Dakota brand decoys. I encourage you to go check them out on their website, dakotadecoys.com. Go to maxprairiewings.com and check them out on there. Rogers.com. Do some shopping around. You can find them cheaper in some places than others. But pick you up a set of these decoys, and I promise you will not regret it. If you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe button. Tap the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a video. We're putting out weekly content every Wednesday with Waterfowl Wednesdays, and that's going to be going on from now until season starts, and maybe even all the way through. We'll just have to see. But I don't want you to miss out, so please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot this time of year during the off season. Watch time is down right now. 
and it really helps me out a lot when you hit that thumbs up button. And until next time, guys, y'all bust them up.